Clay, Jesse, driver, car chief, just in case you didn't know, even though you, you should know if you're here. But I had a suggestion to talk about the wing, so I'm gonna just turn it over to these guys because they're gonna tell you what, this, what the front wing and the back wing does. Wing question. A lot of questions at the front downforce of the wing. Creates so much downforce, about 3,000 pounds on the front, about 10,000 in the rear wing too. Uh, same with the headers too, believe it or not, they will create downforce too. That's about 1,500 pounds too. Are there any adjustments during the, like, in between runs to change anything? Front wing, not so much. Okay. When, it, when it's set, we pretty much never change it. Uh, that has to do with place, you know, drive abilities if you want some more or less. If you want more or less, these are prime joints and we have an angle finder that we do off the chassis so if we want zero degrees plus half minus half one degrees we can change it like that and that's changing the whole wing we can also you can't really see we can change just the element we'll have more or less downforce too well for, for me i just let them do whatever the only time i'll get involved is if the car is carrying the front end like way down the racetrack i'll tell them Jimbo and Jesse, and at that point they'll raise the front wing up ever so slightly. We're talking tenths of a degree can make a difference because the front wing starts working basically at 150 miles an hour, and we're doing that in less than two seconds. So rear wing wise, I have zero to do with that. That's all Jesse, Jimbo, Nikki, they make that decision. And I think a lot of that is done on the density altitude, what the oxygen is doing and we'll change that according to where we're located in what part of the country we're in. Okay. Also, if we're trunking a lot of tires where it's uh, spitting the centers out of it, we'll take the wing out of it to allow less downforce on it, more downforce and trunk tires. So let's say if we're trunking a lot of tires in one or two runs, we'll take the wing out of it. There is an NHRA limit to what we can yes. do with the, the biggest part of the wing is called the main element. We can only move that for only remember, but it's very little. Okay. Yeah. I believe Max in Denver, Colorado, there is no limit because no, of the uh, air. Of the air there. Uh, I believe it's three degrees is our max. But okay. Denver there is yeah. no limit. Which we don't have to worry about that no more, unfortunately. Yeah. So when you come back and say it was doing the Millican sachet, do y'all think about changing anything on that wing? Not really, that's okay. just me. Most of the uh, time. Okay. Looking at the scoreboard. Look, look at the yeah, looking at the wind light. <laughs> We actually have a sensor on the front wheel, and it will tell you immediately if, if the front tire's on the ground or not. So I know it, but they can check it and see at what point of the run it's carrying the front end. Unless you have a bumpy racetrack, then it's going to do it no matter what you do. Okay. All right. Well, I, pre go. I appreciate y'all.